In the history of this planet's civilization, some discoveries or inventions have led to breathtaking changes in our lifestyle. Fire, for example, or the wheel. This year, 1988, we have developed supercomputers that are capable of performing two billion calculations per second. By next year, we expect that capacity to have doubled. If we ever master what we now believe to be the physical impossibility of traveling at the speed of light, so that we ourselves can visit the most distant stars, computers will make that breakthrough possible. Hi, I'm Steve Jobs, and I make computers. As humans, we're all tool builders. We create tools that amplify inherent abilities that we have. Tools like the bicycle, telescope, language, mathematics. But the neatest tool we've ever created is the computer. And until now, computers have been used to revolutionize science and industry. But the great news for 1988 is that computers have finally gotten powerful enough to have the same impact in the arts and the humanities. The two things I'd like to share with you are, one, a concept called digital libraries. How many times have we all been in a great library and known there was knowledge there that we wanted to find, but there was no hope of our ever finding it amongst the mass of books? What if we could take that library and put it inside the computer and search through it in a second or two? We've done that in 1988. We've taken books like the complete works of William Shakespeare, and we can search through them in under a second. Now, I'm interested in the future, so I'd like to see what a few people had to say about it. I can walk over here, enter future into the computer, and find out that, uh, let's see what George Orwell had to say. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Not too positive. And let's go down a little bit further. And I found Lincoln Steffens here. I have seen the future and it works. We can now place the knowledge of our civilization accessible to our fingertips. And this is going to be revolutionary in the humanities. But something even closer to our souls as humans is music. And the computer has finally gotten good enough to synthesize music of a quality to accompany a human virtuoso violinist. What you're about to hear is synthesized from pure mathematics and is created about a tenth of a second before you're going to be listening to it. This is from Johann Sebastian Bach's Concerto in A Minor. Stevie Wonder, artist of song, lyric, music, voice. This technology has made it very possible for so many things that were hardly impossible to happen. The touch of a button, the click of a switch, the turn of a knob, 